Welcome back to Border Adventures, an FM20 series where we've loaded up Germany and all of the nations that share a border with her down to their lowest playable division. And welcome back to Switzerland and welcome back to Luzerne. Isn't it typically Border Adventures that after showing you a victory in the last episode for the first time since we moved to Switzerland, we followed that up with a 5-1 defeat. But fear not, we have recovered. Form has been good. In some games, we've actually been impressive. Goals have been raining in and today we've got a game against St. Gallen. Form has been so good that it will definitely be a nil-nil draw. So we're in late October now. Look at that table. You'll see that we're sitting down there in second place. Yeah, we're a fair way off young boys, but they are head and shoulders above everybody else. But look, we're level on points. We're Basel. They beat us 5-1 on our first ever game in Switzerland. So we've been doing okay. Some of the new signings have been bordering on impressive. So we showed you a 2-0 victory against Servet on the opening day of the season. We followed that up with a 5-1 humbling at the hands of Lausanne. But then we went on a little run. So we won 7-0 against today's opponent, St. Gallen. 5-0 over Zurich. A 6-0 win in the Cup. We kept a clean sheet again as we beat Toon. Another clean sheet as we beat Lugano 3-0. We made further progress in the cup. That competition is ones we've got our beaded little mince pies on this season. We lost to Basel, but hey, you can always lose to Basel. And we went pretty close against young boys, going down 3-2. Disappointing 0-0 draw with Servette, but at least we were keeping clean sheets again before we beat Sion 3-1. And we got some revenge against Lausanne for their humiliation of us on match day two by beating them 3-1 as well. Now, you may have noticed on the goal scoring list that this little chap, Alea, Elia Petrelli, has been getting some goals. Nine in 11 games so far. Only 10 of those have been starts. So looking absolutely superb. To get it to this point, after the Lausanne game, we decided that maybe playing two strikers was a little bit too gung-ho. So we've taken one of our attacking players here, dropped them back to make a second defensive midfielder. So we're playing Ott as that playmaker now, but we've got right in as a Segundo Volante. Um, not sure whether that's still too attacking, but we're going to stick with it today with Carmona just in front, really trying to get up to support Petrelli. But a lot of the goals we're scoring are going to be on quick counter-attacks, looking for balls over the top for Petrelli to run onto. So, form's been all right. So, we're going to kick off the game against St. Gallum. And, well, and hopefully, we're not going to embarrass ourselves. Um, each time we get a little bit confident that we've got a tactic working here in Switzerland, we get bought crushing back down to earth. But fingers crossed today... The boys can go out and perform. They've been playing some good football as well. Really incisive, penetrating, attacking, counter-attacking football. We'll see if it works today. So we're underway. Highlights in straight away. There's right, that's Segundo Valente now. Carmona's the playmaker and we've got fullbacks on either side that are itching to get forward. Their crossing's not brilliant, but their physicals are good. So they'll get up and down that line. Taking it nice and structured as well here. Working the ball around. There's the left back. Can he get the ball across? He can. And that's what he does. Elia Petrelli, 10th goal of the season. Wonderfully, that guy does not have a minimum fee release clause, which the Ott does, by the way. We just renegotiated a new contract for Ott. He would not get the minimum fee release clause out of there, but we've upped it to, I think, about £20 million. So hopefully, if he does leave, it's a nice payday for us. But some of the other players are playing really well, and they don't have release clauses in their contracts. Good news. Right, can we get the ball back? We're back into highlights again. We're only in the seventh minute, but this time it's St. Gallen coming at us. Can we do what we like to do? Can we win the ball and counter? We can't. We've been cedric -ed. Itten the Kitten has levelled up for St. Gallen. I read the script before the game. That definitely wasn't part of it. It must have been a late addition. Don't get our challenges in. 
They play a deep ball over our left back, who's just bowing. And our, well, our centre halves aren't getting close enough. That's just into Haas. He's not close enough to the hit and kitten. And we're not even at the 10 minute mark. Oh, and wow, well, they're coming at us again. Starting to look a little bit more concerning. They've gone past our left back again. He's getting beaten very easily. And we are 2 1 down to a team we beat 7 0 earlier in the season. We're going to have to up the mentality. Going against the, the kind of the counter attacking strategy that we were hoping for. Over our left back. He runs back, gets into position, but makes no challenges at all. It's a smart finish. Von Bormus is beaten at his near post. Okay, well, we've absolutely got some work to do, I feel. We're going to demand more. See if we can get back into it before half time. Match stats are looking a little bit in St. Gallen's favour as well. This is not a good performance. You're going to have to show us a bit of passion. The rain's howling down. They're coming at us again. Not really getting our tackles in on them. They've got another ball in the box. and It's a warning shot for the boys at the back. They've been pretty below par this game. Looking at the ratings they're getting. I mean, the ratings aren't terrible. Apart from Prieto at right back. Apparently Villa, because of that assist, is playing a 6.8. But I'd say he was culpable for both of the attacks that led to their goals. I expect a much better. I think that pretty much sums it up. What have we got by means of things on the bench? We've got you know, two wingers we can bring on. Harak's there as well, but Petrelli's playing okay. Let's leave it for a little bit. But I think we might have to go attacking. And I think we're going to have to demand more straight away. See if we can get back into it. Again, to 60 minutes. And really, the boys are not doing much, are they? Let's get Bob further forward. Let's get Romasco further forward. Let's also make Romasco an inside forward on attack. And let's push our lines up a little bit. Let's dispense with the counter attacking and instead try and put them under a little bit of pressure. Let's go. Need to see an awful lot more. Here we go. Here's a highlight. Looks like it could be for us. No, we've been robbed of possession. God, that is weak play. And we've given it to the Wolf. Since he retired from Gladiators, he's found a, a good pay packet playing in the Swiss top flight. That is... <laughs> Let's not speak. Let's watch that replay. Let's just watch that. Was this goal avoidable? I feel like it might have been. Routine pass back. Nobody closing him down. I feel there were a couple of opportunities there where he could have kicked that clear. He's decided to just wait. And Von Bormus is still getting a 6.7. I'm not entirely... Sure that that's warranted. Okay, so we, in fact, we're going to get out of this. We're going to get into the tactics. We're going to pull off one of these defensive-minded players. We're going to go Harak as a second attacking option there. We're going to push Ott up as well. We're going to make a change over on the wings. We're going to bring on a more attacking fullback. We're going to play him right out of position. We're going to ask him to really bomb forward. I don't think we're getting back into this game. I think we've embarrassed ourselves once more. We've got an injury, and after a triple sub, I don't think we can do anything about it. We can't even muster a consolation goal. Goodness me, well, an abject performance. We thought we had it cracked for a while there. We were getting some good wins, scoring lots of goals. We were chasing down Burn at the top of the table. We thought, we'll show you a game against a team we beat 7-0. Uh, what, six weeks ago? And they've come back and they have been absolutely abject. It's too late now, boys. It's too late You've already sullied your reputation and soiled our performance. Goodness me. 
I mean, this is what we're trying to do. We're trying to get counter-attacking plays going, going to get inside wingers driving forward, feeding front men. Too little, too late. Iraq, sixth goal of the season. He's come on as a sub. You can't criticise him. But the rest of the boys, you absolutely can. And if there's an option to get them in for training, we're going to take it. So, welcome to the Swiss roller coaster. As soon as we get our feet under the table, we come crashing back down to earth. I still think the strengthening to go. I'm thinking after that game, maybe a keeper in January that's a little bit more reactionary might not be the worst investment we've ever made. Look, thank you for watching that anyway. Sorry, it was such an abject showing. Thank you for anybody that's decided to like and subscribe during that video and check out the description down below. We'll put links in there to other content creators that are themselves creating, well, far more winnable content than I am. We'll see you very soon as we're going to try and find a new way of continuing our border adventures in Switzerland.